Okay, for all you knob and tube fans, here's some bonus video. What I have here is a cut section of wire where before I extracted it, the wire continued on in this direction. And what we have here is a splice. And the way the splice would have been done is one of these wires would have been wrapped around the other and then soldered and then wrapped in this cloth type electrical tape. And that was considered good enough. You didn't need to put it in a box or anything in those days. And what I thought would be interesting would be to see how much current this solder connection can take. So like in our previous tests, we're gonna pass current through the wire and see what happens. But what we'll do this time is start at about 50 amps because from past experience with knob and tube, we know that's where things start to go wrong and we'll see what happens. So with that having been said, I'm gonna turn on the current and we'll watch. 10 minutes at 50 amps, the wire is turning black as we had seen before and is warm. The tubes are warm but not uncomfortable. And the electrical tape is actually quite cool and what that would probably indicate is that we have a nice long good connection inside. Let's take a quick look with the IR camera. What do we see? Temperatures in the up to 67 degree type range. And certainly the bulk of the splice is not the hottest part. So those electricians a hundred years ago certainly knew how to do splicing. Well, let's up the current by 10 amps. After 10 minutes at 60 amps, we're seeing the cloth covering begin to delaminate just like it did on the previous video, except that it's not happening on the lower wire. And what that leads me to believe is this is a newer wire and it was attached to the original wire many years later, which is something I was not expecting to see. What are the temperatures like? Well, somewhere around 105 degrees seems to be the maximum. I think that's what it was sort of like before. Once again, we can certainly see where the splice probably is. And that's really where the transition from the white hot to the red hot colors on the IR image are. So if I were to point to it, I would think that the splice is somewhere around here. We are certainly seeing now the end of the wire getting warm as we would expect as a result of heat conduction down the copper. But clearly, the maximum heat is where the current is flowing, and that is from here and around up to here. So, I think what we'll do is once again up the current. 10 minutes at 70 amps. Our new cable is doing well. Both cables are smoking, but the lighting has changed so much you may not be able to see it too well. And let's take a quick look with the IR camera. Temperature's a little over 100 degrees, I see. Maybe up to 107, it looks like. I guess some of the delamination is actually hiding some of the hot parts of the wire, which is kind of interesting. That's the upper wire. Same sort of results where the splice is. You can see that the heat drops off as we move towards the right. That, of course, wouldn't necessarily be happening if there was a fair amount of current flowing in that leg of the splice. So once again, we will up the current. 10 minutes at 80 amps and much the same type of effects as we saw before. Maybe not as fast and I'm thinking there's sort of a cooling effect from the tubes and also a cooling effect from this part of the wire with really no current radiating some of the heat. Let's look at the temperatures. What do we see? 220 or so Celsius maximum. So I'm thinking the rubber is beginning to burn. Interestingly, where the splice is, 
we're still doing pretty good relative to everything else so that says a lot for those splices and I think what I will do because I'm beginning to lose batteries and light is probably up the current a bit more just to speed things up because I'd really like to see whether it's the splice or the wire that gives that's now a hundred amps certainly a lot more smoke happening and some rubber is melting and dropping from the wire not surprising temperatures are now getting up to almost 300 Celsius and that's sort of when we seem to see the wire catch fire before oh it's sort of dropping now the current hasn't dropped I think that might more be the IR camera certainly a lot of smoke production and I'm hearing a bit of crackling sort of like wood burning but from past experience I don't think it's actually wood it's probably the wire maybe the insulation oh and I see the top of the insulation up here is now beginning to lose the rubber as we saw before in fact I don't know if that's glowing red or not I don't think it's glowing ah, it might just be glowing red so we're in the final phases no I correct myself it's not glowing I don't think it's just I guess burning up what remains of the black rubber I will correct myself once again look at that it's absolutely glowing just like we saw before interestingly the splice is doing pretty good we should look at that with IR yeah certainly that upper part is probably as hot as the camera can register very impressive splice though that's for sure so it certainly shows that those splices are so good that it made a lot of sense to just cover them with tape and no need for a box even though we are used to boxes today and really need them for our types of connections I just upped it to about 115 amps and my circuit breaker blew so that's about all we can do very impressive result you certainly can't ask for much more than that the wire is all intact most impressively the splice is intact and did better than the wire and the wood does not appear to be burning in spite of this incredible heat so a very impressive wiring system well that's the bonus video I hope you enjoyed it see you next time I lied the video is not over let's try 270 amps from the arc welder just for fun that's it that's all folks see you next time